Hey guys, Redneck Mini 14 here. In a recent video that I posted, I showed off my new Ruger Vaquero, and I said how I was interested in maybe getting into some cowboy action shooting. And uh, this is the first gun I really bought for cowboy action, specifically for cowboy action. Now, I do have another um, Colt single action style of revolver. This is a Taurus Gaucho. I bought this about a year ago and it is another 45 Colt single action revolver. It has a four and three quarter ish barrel and it's a little more uh, like a Colt in that you have to put it on half cock to release the cylinder. Um, it does have the four clicks but it does have that transfer bar safety, much like a Ruger or many other more modern revolvers out there. So I do have that gun. Um, for those of you who don't know, Cowboy Action is just a shooting competition and a shooting sport, really, um, that requires you to dress up like a cowboy or a cowgirl or um, some other type of person from the uh, like the 1800s. I, I guess you don't necessarily have to be dressed as a cowboy or cowgirl. You could be just somebody like in in an outfit that is what you would wear in the 1800s um, during the Wild West. So um, it is a shooting competition where you it requires four guns. So you need two single action revolvers. Um, typically they're going to be like a Colt or a Colt clone type of revolver like a Ruger Vaquero or a Taurus Gaucho or a, um, I mean you could do a Colt single action army, they're pretty expensive, but there's also Uberti's and Cimarron's and all these other kind of revolvers. Uh, typically you're gonna see people carrying one that resembles a Colt like this, but there are other models of single action revolvers out there that I guess would be acceptable as well. Um, typically you'll see people shooting 38 Special um, 45 Colt, which is what these are. Um, some more traditionalists like to use uh, like 44, 40 and other more um, authentic rounds. Colt or 45 Colt is your only modern authentic round, if that makes any sense. Like it's the only common modern chambering in like a Taurus Gaucho or a Ruger Vaquero um, that was also available in the Old West um, since 1973. So um, most people tend to go with like 38 Special or in like in a 357 Magnum, but they use 38 Special. And, um, you know, I went with 45 Colt um, for a couple of reasons. Um, but my plan is to actually get a second Ruger Vaquero. And I do have some nice wood grips on the way for both guns whenever I get to the second one. So the plan is to get two Ruger Vaqueros and that will be, those will be my revolvers. <clears throat> I have a, um, a Henry Big Boy Steel on layaway, which is also in 45 Colts. So in a cowboy action match, you have four guns. You have two revolvers, one lever action rifle, typically um, in a pistol caliber um, configuration, um, because you need at least 10 rounds. And then you also need some some kind of authentic shotgun, like a double barrel or a uh, like a Winchester 1897 or an 1887. And those are the only three types that you can use that I know for a fact are legal. Also, with your double barrels, you can use um, exposed or yeah external hammers or internal hammers. Um, I'm probably gonna go with the Stoger coach gun just because it's cheap and uh, they seem to be pretty reliable and so those are internal hammers but uh, two single action revolvers one lever action rifle and one shotgun and uh, the way it works is obviously you're dressed as a you know you're dressed in a 1800s style attire um, it could be as simple as like jeans and boots and a cowboy hat 
um, and then you'll want to have some um, some western holsters um, so typically like one of those belt holsters where it's like a two guns on one belt type of thing um, you're also going to want to have something to hold your shotgun shells so uh, the way it works is usually you'll have the revolvers on your person they'll be loaded up ready to go each one will have five rounds for a total of ten and then your rifle will be on the table or on a table somewhere on the course and it'll be loaded up with 10 rounds as well and depending on you know how the course goes you may start with your revolver you may start with your rifle I think typically the shotgun comes last so um, depending on how it's run like say you'll you'll start off with your uh, your revolvers and so you'll go through five rounds on one five rounds on the other and whatever um, configuration they have the steel target set up and typically you're talking like a 12 inch uh, steel plate um, sometimes they're like torsos sometimes they're squares sometimes they're circular you know different uh, areas use different you know different uh, groups use different plates and stuff um, so you go through your 10 rounds of your revolver and then you'll go to your lever action rifle and you'll go through 10 rounds on that in the whatever order they tell you to shoot in and then you'll go with your shotgun and typically it's like four rounds on the shotgun so like if you have a double barrel you'll load it and it's the only gun that is unloaded so you load it um, with two rounds fire twice <clears throat> you have to hit the targets and then you'll lo empty it load it again fire two more rounds and you have to hit them uh, twice again so um, with the way it works uh, with scoring I believe it's it's mainly time and it's how much time it takes you to hit all the targets and if you miss a target it adds so much time I don't know all the specifics I'm not the end-all be-all expert but this is something I'm kinda interested in whether I would actually go as far as to actually compete and you know go to you know many competitions and and try to like you know try to beat everybody I don't think I would ever get that good um, Number one, because I'm too poor to actually afford all the ammunition to get to that point. But number two, I, I just, you know, I don't know if I would be willing to go uh, to day-long competitions that many times. I may go to one or two just for fun, not necessarily to compete and try to be the best, but just to have fun. And so with that, um, again, it's, it's mainly based off of time, but then I think when it comes to shotguns, <clears throat> It's uh, based off of hits, and you have to like hit your target four times in order for it to count. So, um, like I said, different places do it differently, and there are also like different categories and different um, levels of um, complexity and stuff. Sometimes they'll do like you know you'll shoot five through one revolver, and then you'll have to load one, and then shoot that one, or you'll you might have to like load one into your rifle or something like that. They do kind of some some categories of cowboy action do things like that and um, then there's also like um, long range cowboy action which you can either use with like a long range lever action like a 4570 or a 3855 something like that or you can use like a sharps rifle you know single shot or um, there are a couple other um, different single shot rifles like the Winchester 1885 I think is what it's called like the high wall um, just different rifles like that and then that's based off of like long range shooting you get like 10 minutes to hit the target so many times I think um, you don't see that too often uh, typically what you see is your regular cowboy action shooting with two revolvers one rifle one shotgun and that's what I'm wanting to do so um, what do you guys think of this? Uh, do you think it so seems like something that's pretty cool? I know a lot of people out there like to do the three gun competition where you have like a, a AR-15, a semi-auto shotgun, and like a Glock 9mm or some kind of 9mm pistol. Um, that also seems kind of fun, but uh, not quite my style. I'm kind of old school. I like older, more classic guns. Not that I don't like AR-15s, but I just, there's something about a single action revolver and only having six rounds and having to pull that hammer every time. I don't know, something really cool about it. 
Um, I also really like lever actions. I really like Marlins. I really like Henrys and Winchesters. Um, I really like all those different types of guns. Um, I've always wanted a double barrel shotgun and I've just never gotten around to getting one. So this is just kind of an excuse to get all these different guns. So like I said, I got uh, the one Ruger. I do have this uh, gaucho to use in a pinch. Um, it's not the same, obviously. It's got a shorter barrel. It's a totally different action. Um, it's got the four clicks versus the two clicks and you know, there's different things about it. So I could use it technically. Um, I don't know how that works in competition. Um, I don't know if there are rules against having two different revolvers or not. Um, but in practice, I can use it because uh, nobody to tell me otherwise. Um, but I do want to get a Ruger Vaquero, and then I've got the uh, the Henry on layaway, so that'll be here in a, maybe two months, three months, and then uh, just got to get a shotgun. So anyway, that's kind of my plan. Um, I want to do a video with between these two and just kind of show the differences um, because they're both pretty cool. Um, revolvers one is quite a bit cheaper than the other but you know they're both pretty cool revolvers and uh, more modern than like a colt so i'll probably show those off someday um but anyway that's kind of my plan for getting into cowboy action whether it's just to be an amateur or to actually go into competition i kind of want to see how i do and i kind of want to make it you know, started out with being like a couples competition between me and my girlfriend, um, like at the farm or at her her property or something, uh, where we can just get the guns out and just have kind of a friendly uh, man versus woman competition. I just think it'll be fun. So, subscribe to my channel, like me on Facebook. I'm Redneck Mini 14, and until next time, be safe.